All right, guys, let's go ahead and teach this puppy to walk on a leash. Now, notice here I'm doing my base pattern. I'm always working from an area of strength towards an area of weakness. So I did me a little base pattern work. Now I'm getting my leash out, which I introduced in the first lesson of the day. And I'm getting her to bring her head through there. Now look, see, she looks happy and confident about bringing her head through there. And even when I tighten that leash up, you notice that it didn't seem to bother her. She didn't scratch at it. She didn't try to shake her head or anything. That lets me know she's perfectly acclimated to having the leash on. So once I put the leash on, I want to go back to that area of strength. So I go back into her base pattern here. See, and so we knock out some sits and some downs and some stands. You know, and uh, now I'm going to clear that leash out of the way, give her a few treats, and throw one behind her. Okay, now, so watch me put that pressure on the leash. And as soon as she responds to the pressure, I reward her. Now, that's going to come back in a second. So, remember that I did that, guys. Now, so after that first introduction of me pulling on the leash and her coming back to me, I went back to my base pattern. And notice here, what I'm doing is I'm putting just a little bit of pressure on the leash, and then a millisecond later, I'm following up with my targeting hand. So she feels the pressure and she starts to understand that that pressure on that leash leads to the targeting hand coming in play and when the targeting hand comes in play she's already familiar with what to do. This is what I mean guys you have to get your base patterns down. You see how strong she is with that? See when I go to pull in on the leash she, she's not fighting it. She's not feeling like I'm, I'm dragging her around. She just feels like that little bit of information that's coming through that leash is leading to information that she's already familiar with. The leash tug leads to something good happening. Now that's gonna, over the course of this lesson, that's gonna come up over and over and over again. I need that puppy to realize that if I pull on her leash, moving with the leash pressure is gonna work out to her advantage. Right? I never want to have an adversarial relationship with my dog over leash work. Now, listen, I'm not going to lie. A lot of times you'll get adolescent or post-adolescent dogs in and they don't have any experience with the leash. And This is not a viable option for teaching those dogs to have good leash manners in the short run. It can be done. But it might take you a year, you know. And so for, for professional trainers, that's not always an option that's going to work. So I'm going to give her a little bit of break here, and we're going to come back in and continue on with this idea of uh, giving in to the leash pressure. Okay, so here we are. We start off. Bam, I throw a treat behind her. Now notice I've got her kind of hemmed up in that corner there. That way my... my uh, the puppy can't go farther than what my leash can reach. So I throw that treat back there. Now these little puzzle mats, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to throw those pieces of food into the little indentations on the puzzle mat so that she has to work at, at getting that treat out of there. And ideally what will happen is as that treat gets caught in that little hole, I'll be able to, you know, pull on that leash just enough to make her realize even leaving something, it's right there in front of her. You know, if she doesn't get what's right in front of her, it's okay. Just go back to Stoney because he's got something good waiting for you. That's really the key, guys. You always have to make the dogs understand that, that taking what's, what they want right now, taking what's on the front burner for them and putting it on the back burner, that's always going to work to their advantage. Once you make a dog understand that you have their best interest at heart, you're really not going to have to use much in the way of compulsion. So from this early age like this, we play these little games where I just show her, if, I, if I'm asking you to leave an activity or if I'm asking you to forego an activity, trust me, it's going to work out. You're going to be better off for giving in and doing what I'd like for you to do. So she starts to understand that uh, moving with the leash pressure works out to her advantage. And okay, now it's time to start walking on the leash. Now you notice that I've turned backwards here. This is a pretty common trick. I didn't come up with it. It works, it works super. You know, the dog already likes to follow you. You know, so she's following you. She's used to following my hand. She knows there's some treats there. She's kind of hungry. So it, it works out perfectly. So as soon as I get her to follow me that first two or three times, and normally it'd be, I'd be outside. You know, I get her to follow me 15, 20 feet. I immediately turn 180 degrees 
and start working on, you know, this, what most people refer to as a healing position. You know, just getting her to walk beside me. This isn't very natural for a dog. You know, following you, looking at you, watching you, trying to get close to you, that's natural. Walking right beside you, you know, that doesn't make a lot of sense to a puppy. So, be careful and, uh, you know, do this step right. Now, this is my favorite part, guys. When it starts to come together like this, uh, you know, I'm continually amazed. I've been doing this uh, kind of training for a long time. And to be honest with you, you know, it doesn't work the same on every single dog. Um, but when it works, man, does it work well. And this is one of those puppies that uh, she just has a great temperament. She has a, She's very outgoing. She loves food. She loves attention. She's very pattern cognizant. So it's real rewarding to work with this puppy. It's fun to make videos with her. You know, and what I really like is how the progression happens. You know, what did we do? We, we started off just letting her understand that if she just was calm and quiet and didn't bite my hand, she would get treats. And she said, well, that's fantastic, Stoney. You mean all I have to do is look at you and not bite your hand and I get treats? And I said, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. So naturally, the dog said, well, what else can I do? I said, well, you can kind of follow my hand around. And she said, well, that, that, that's great. Is it so I can look at you and not bite your hand and follow your hand around? And I get treats? I'm like, yeah. So she says, well, what else can I do? I said, well, uh, you know, you can follow my hand into this sitting position. She said, okay, check. I said, well, how about the down? And she said, uh, okay, check. That's awesome. And I said, well, how about the stand? And if you'll remember, we were on that table. She was a little nervous. So she said, okay, Stoney, I'll try it, but I'm, I'm kind of worried. I said, well, okay, just stick it through. We did a little stand, and we went back to the, the sit and the down that she was good at. The next thing you knew, well, she was like, okay, I understand. I look at you. I'm polite with my mouth. I follow you into these sit positions. I follow you into these down positions. It works out for me. And lo and behold, I ended up following you into the stand position. That was great. And then she said, well, what else can I do? So I got down on the ground with her. And I said, well, uh, you can sit and you can down and you can stand. You can be polite. You can be attentive. And you can go with the pressure of this leash. And she said, well, that, that seems pretty easy. So you mean whenever I, I move away from you, if you pull the leash, I just come back? I said, yep, that's perfect. And she said, well, what else? And I said, uh, well, if I stand up, you can follow me. She said, well, that seems awesome. I'll follow you. And uh, so she got good at that. And I said, well, how about this? How about, what if I just turn around and I take off walking and you follow me? And she said, well, check. That's great. So, you know, of course, this puppy, this, these things, they just build. They roll one into the other. And the next thing you know, I start putting them together like Lego blocks. So now not only is she walking with me, but she's also sitting beside me. And she's looking at me and being calm and being polite and being ginger with uh, her mouth. You know, this is how training is supposed to look, guys. This is the ideal situation. And it doesn't always work out like this, but, you know, give it your best shot because when it does, it's so rewarding. You just can't believe it.